everyone. Are you tired of Snap Camera giving you trouble with its filters not loading? Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix that problem and get back to having fun with your favorite filters. But before we jump into it, make sure to show your support by liking this video and sharing it with your friends who might be experiencing the same issue. Now let's get started. As you all know, Snap Camera was reset and shut down, but don't worry because I'll guide you through how to access it again. The first thing we need to do is turn off the Windows Defender Firewall to avoid any problems when opening Snap Camera. Now let's go to the Search section and open the Control Panel. Click on System and Security, and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. Select Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off, and turn off the firewall. Next, we need to download Snap Camera. I've included the download link in the description section, so make sure to check that out. Once we've downloaded the file, we can remove it to the desktop and begin the installation process. During the installation, we will need to locate the Snap Camera file. We can copy it from the location while we're there. Afterward, we'll select Create a Desktop Shortcut and then click Install. Now that we've installed Snap Camera, it's time to patch it. To do this, we need to go to the GitHub site using the link I've provided in the description section. Once we're there, we'll click on the link and choose the Snap Camera file that we copied earlier. If you haven't copied the file location before, don't worry. You can right-click on the Snap Camera icon on your desktop and select Open File Location to copy the file location from there. After selecting Snap Camera, we'll click Apply Patch and remove the file to the desktop. Now, we'll replace the Snap Camera View Patch with the on-page form. To do this, we'll right-click on Snap Camera, select Open File Location, and delete the Snap Camera file. If Snap Camera is open in the background, we won't be able to delete it, so we'll click Show Hidden Icons and close Snap Camera. Finally, we'll rename our file to Snap Camera and open it to see if the filters are loading or not. As you can see, the filters are loading now, and you can freely share your favorite filters in the comments section. We've come to the end of the video, and I hope this tutorial has helped you fix your Snap Camera problem. If it did, don't forget to like this video, and you can also subscribe to my channel to show your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.